This is an Oshkosh S-Series mixer. It's made by TWH and it's in 150 at scale. Now these trucks, I've done quite a few videos on these. I've I got a bunch of them. They're fantastic concrete trucks. Um, for the detail, the quality, and the price, this is the best concrete mixer that you can get hands down. They're just great trucks. Now all these all these Oshkoshes are set up in that uh I guess you call it the mid Midwestern states or Great Lakes states um, axle configuration where you have axles out the wazoo. Now this version is made for the Harvey Ready Mix Company of Manawak, Wisconsin. So I guess it falls into that that area where you can. I yeah you know, I don't know what the axle laws are, but yeah you, know, you see some of those uh you see some of those trailers like a dump trailer. It's got like I don't know four, five, six, seven, eight axles on it. <laughs> So I guess uh, maybe it's you yeah, have an unlimited weight that you can add to the per axle. I don't know. I really don't know how it works. But anyway, in my area, you don't see uh, concrete trucks set up like this, especially in Maryland, because having all the extra axles wouldn't really gain you anything. Um, I'm not sure if that's because of the bridge laws in Maryland or just uh, the way it is, but that's you wouldn't see a truck like this in Maryland. You just wouldn't. You'd see... Um, you see a triaxle almost all the time. You might see four axles, but you'd never see you know set up the way it is. Um, now, like I was saying, these these TWH uh, concrete mixers are just fantastic. The detail is astounding. The quality is excellent. There's really just uh, there are so many things to check out. Little details here and there that it'll surprise you almost every time you look at it. The paint is excellent. I love this paint scheme. I think it looks really good with that color green and the white. The combination is just nice. Um, the decaling and everything is also very good. All the warning labels and everything also look good. I mean, you even have the you know, the warning labels on the battery box back there. Everything is just excellent. If you flip open the hood cover, I still have the rubber on here. The motor detail is excellent. You can see the... Um, all the detail here around the uh, the drum uh, motor everything's just really good you got your water hose up there it runs up it's just fantastic the uh, the grill here is uh, that's a very fine mesh you can actually see through it and you can see the radiator in there it all just looks really good like I said the uh, for the money you really can't beat these you really just can't um, if you look underneath I guess you could say it's all-wheel drive because I mean you're you're steering and your two drive axles I mean that's basically all-wheel drive all your drops um, are not powered but they rarely are and speaking of the drop axles one of the best things about these TWH trucks is that you can see the tab right there at the top of the suspension if you take a screwdriver or a knife and you flip that tab over you can actually mount or raise all the drop axles into the raised position and they will hold basically hold themselves up in the air off the road as the, the, the truck is empty and that's a really cool feature um, all the axles do have suspension even the uh, the drive axle does have some suspension to it and it's really really very good underneath you have all the drive lines all your brake lines and everything it looks really good you can see uh, some little bit of detail in there from the motor mating to the transmission which again is really cool that's uh you know sitting on the shelf you'd never see any of this but TWH has it and that's really cool uh, looking inside the cab you can just barely see inside there to get some of the interior detail but again it's very good all the the walkways the catwalk and everything that that mesh and the grating is all very good very well done you have some pretty fine hydraulic cylinders on the chute work, which is really nice. I mean, this is really a very fine piece of metal to have there. It's really, uh, really good looking. There's no other way to put it. It's just, it's, this is a good looking truck. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, it's, it's definitely not, um, you know, a mid-Atlantic truck. You know, I've, I've never seen anything like this around you know in in my area but it still looks great i still want it in my collection i still like having it on the shelf because it just 
it's a great quality model. Now, when these first came out, they were around $180, I think. I think that's what the retail was. Maybe it was $170. I can't really remember. It might have been $190. Anyway, at $180, $190, that's probably a bit much for these trucks as they are. But TWH made so many of these trucks that some of them are still around the $180 mark. And that's because some trucks that didn't make as many of like the Harvey version here, there's not as many of them, so they're a little bit more expensive. But the standard white version and the uh, the Oshkosh Company versions, um, there's one for, uh, it's like a safety truck. Those are fairly common, and those trucks can be found for well under $100. And I think at $100, this truck is an excellent deal. Like, you cannot find a better concrete truck for a hundred dollars like there's just there's nothing out there that can touch this um now that being said like i've seen the plain white version sell for as little as uh like 65 dollars now if you have if you have a source where you can get some decals uh you can get that plain white truck stick some decals on there maybe some paint and you know you match it to one or whatever your local company is and all of a sudden, you have a pretty awesome custom concrete truck. You know, you can put that together for a hundred dollars, and that's pretty awesome. It's not very, not very often that you can get a really good quality custom model like that for a hundred dollars. But with these concrete trucks from TWH, it's possible to do that, and that's fairly uncommon to have have a combination like that, where you can come up with something really nice for not a lot of money. Anyway, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If you'd like to see more of what we have, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And thanks for watching.